Signals of economic strength are about as strong as they ever get, but so is the background noise. The signal-to-noise ratio of the economy is a blaring anomaly. The U.S. and its allies traded mean tweets about trade in a spat after the annual G7 summit. Meanwhile, the U.S. upped the ante in another trade skirmish by adding $50 billion of tariffs on imports from China. Worries about a global slowdown escalated as the volume of tough trade talk was raised. In addition, President Trump talked face to face with the leader of North Korea and spoke favorably of the dictator after their meeting, declaring that the Asian nuclear crisis had been defused. Adding to the noise, inflation jumped last month, heightening fears that rising interest rates are about to quash growth and cause a recession. Despite all the distractions, signals of a boom underway are clear. Here's a key one. Each of the blue lines represent Wall Street analysts' forecast for earnings at America's 500 largest publicly held companies for a calendar year, starting with the beginning of the current expansion cycle. Unlike the first seven years shown, the earnings forecasts for 2018 and 2019 look totally different because earnings have surged anomalously. Analysts started releasing earnings forecasts for 2011 and mid 2009, raising their expectations through mid 2011 before forecasts dropped off. This pattern of lowering earnings forecasts as the year draws near is normal. Year after year, analysts start out optimistically, then lower their expectations as the end of the year draws closer. But that's not the pattern so far in 2018. Earnings estimates have surged and then continued to improve, even as the end of 2018 draws closer. In the past month alone, earnings forecasts surged by 20 percent. The 22 percent earnings growth rate expected for 2018 would be about three times the norm. Another strong signal is business optimism. Small business employs half the private sector, and was responsible for 70 percent of the new jobs created in the economic boom. In May, the Small Business Optimism Index spiked higher, hitting its second highest level in its 45-year history. Retail sales were up 4.9 percent for the 12 months through May, more than 50 percent higher than the 3.2 percent peak of the last expansion. Retail is booming, and consumer spending accounts for 70 percent of U.S. economic growth. For the quarter ending June 30th, 56 economists surveyed by the Wall Street Journal in early June forecast a 3.6 percent growth rate, an average quarterly growth through the end of June 2019 of 3 percent, which is strong compared to the last two decades. Economic signals are screaming strength. And there is certainly no sign of a recession ahead, but stocks are near an all-time high, and the background noise could erupt at any time and trigger a 10 or 15 percent fall in share prices. We're here to keep you tuned in to the economic signals and filter the noise.